WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. All right, Snowpocalypse 2019 essentially over at this point. Yes, we've had some snow. We've had some fun in the snow. The wintry weather now on the way out. Now, we still have some cloud cover out there. A live view downtown Columbus, the rain, the snow, the sleet on the way out. And it's just going to be a dreary next couple of hours here. Louisville, Mississippi, we are so overcast. Most of the moisture on the way out. Still some residual wetness here on the roadways. Now, we've had some snow and some rain over here in sleet into Lamar County. Vernon as well. Durham's Pharmacy all quiet here at the current time. And up in Tupelo, yeah, you had your snow earlier today as well, along with some rain. So that's a live view. Let's check out the radar situation currently as of 1012. We mentioned this earlier. Uh, from Columbus to Macon, south and east across Pickens County and down farther south towards Kemper County. Uh, this is where the moisture is, and a lot of this is now probably more so a cold rain than sleet and snow. Uh, but overall, we are uh, transitioning this moisture out of here. So probably by 11 o'clock, this will be completely done with our coverage area. Just hang with it here, folks. As we check out the big picture, you can see that we have the... Uh, essential end of the, the rain, the moisture, the snow, whatever you want to call it, is now moving through our area. Uh, the sky is actually clearing back out to the west, and temperatures are getting much, much colder in the Arkansas. Once they clear out, uh, folks have cleared down into the uh, 20s out there. So we will see some cooler temperatures later on tonight. All right, let's check out the snow pictures we've had, some of these here, coming in on Twitter and Facebook. We appreciate it here. A little bit of a dusting there on the trucks in Matheston. Look at that snow cover in Hamilton, Mississippi, also in Starkville. A little bit of a coating with some of those uh, friendly snowflakes, festive flakes. Now, check this out. This is just like a Christmas card. Uh, from West Point earlier this evening. Look at the flakes, the Christmas wreath right there, downtown West Point. I want to thank Crystal for that. And look at that girl right there, enjoying the snow as it falls on down. And we can't forget our four legged friends enjoying uh, the snow. A lab there bouncing around out in the snow. And again, from Greenwood Springs up in the Monroe County area, some snow cover right there. And uh, there's the snow falling earlier tonight in the Starkville area. So just a lot of reports here. Uh, we've had uh, snow falling across our region tonight. We do appreciate the reports on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, our email address, weatherwcbi.com. These areas highlighted in blue, Lee County, Pontotoc County, down towards Chickasaw County and Monroe County. Uh, Per the DOT, there are some slippery spots on the roads and some bridges, especially the overpasses here, the bridges. Uh, the surface temperatures are still mainly above freezing. Oxford, you're down to 30, 34 Tupelo and Columbus. We'll continue to cool later on tonight. We still have a northerly breeze, so the northerly breeze and the fact that the moisture is on the way out and temperatures still above freezing should hopefully evaporate some of the wetness off the roads before we can really cool things down. Later tonight, upper 20s to low 30s when we wake up. We should be sunny all day long tomorrow. And by the afternoon, upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Tonight, though, once we clear the clouds, 20s to low 30s. So we do have the potential for some slippery spots on those bridges especially. But look at all that sunshine tomorrow. It will be a great day. The snow, if you had it, if it's still up, uh, on your lawn in the morning when you wake up, it will go away quickly with all that sun. Clouds increase a little bit on Thursday. We'll have a system move through the region Friday. We may see a few showers here, but most of that moisture stays away. The weekend at this point looks okay. Highs mainly in the 50s for the next few days, around 60 for the weekend. I mentioned there could be a few showers here on Friday. Our next best chance for moisture here, probably Monday in the form of rain and maybe even a few storms. So. We just had a little taste of wintry weather here, Scott. Just a little tease for us before the sun returns tomorrow. And just a little